Hey guys, welcome. Today I wanted to do a flip through of the Breathe Journal. This is from the magazine Breathe and it actually comes in a magazine form. I found this at Michael's. I picked it up for $12.99 US, uh, $15.99 in Canada. And it's a 52 week planner as well as guided reflection questions and articles for cultivating self-compassion, self-love, all that good stuff. So I wanted to do a quick flip through of it. This is timely. You can still pick it up in Michael's, I believe. I know every store is different with what vendors they carry, but you can definitely find it online. And I would check Barnes & Noble as well. So first thing first, they have a nice little welcome page. Love and self-care can work wonders and motivating yourself with kindness rather than criticism will change your experience. And that is kind of the theme that we see throughout this notebook or this magazine rather. It talks about how we feel once we start a goal and, you know, what happens when we get derailed or we lose focus and just some of the, the things we can do to stay focused. We have how to stay on track, make a plan. Begin by writing down what your goal or dream is and the specific reasons you are doing it. By putting it on paper, you are actively doing something about it rather than keeping it in your head. But be realistic, the goal should be attainable. What is your goal and what will success look like? Next, there's a page called time management and it is for progress tracking. So monitor your progress by making notes and taking photographs of your project as it progresses. So this is to reflect that page where we laid out all of our goals and then show how we are achieving those goals on this side. The next pages are also interactive. I love how interactive this planner is. This section says use others to help you. So recording any inspirational comments, like if you post your goals on social media, um, then there's a section for long-term goals, milestone celebration, and congratulating yourself. So we want to make sure that we're celebrating our wins and not just moving on to the next thing right away. One of the questions it asks is, how do you feel now that you've achieved your goal? Record your feelings here and refer back to them the next time you need some inspiration. Next section is called Into the Unknown, and it's all about courage over comfort. There's this section called Aura of Calm, and this is all about ways you can calm yourself. This section for your eyes only, where you can print out photos and post them in like a little creative journal instead of posting them online those really precious moments that you just want to save for yourself i think that's really neat now we get into the 52 week journal so it starts with goal setting so what are my goals what are my dreams what's my motivation how do i want to feel a bunch of reflection questions and things to think about before setting your goals and there's a few pages of that and then it gets into the actual planner. As we can see, this is a horizontal planner and it is undated so you can actually start this at any time of the year. I love at the end that it says it has little prompts. So this week summed up in one sentence, a memory that I should savor. One time this week I exceeded my expectations and a worry that I might reframe in a positive light. And these change every week. So there's different prompts on every single week. And that is really neat. I love that they did that that way. And the planner is broken up by little quotes from famous artists and visionaries. At the end of the 52 weeks, there is a reflection section. What goals did you achieve and which eluded you? What made some possible and which areas were tricky? Questions like that to help you really reflect on the year and think about what went well, what didn't go well, how you can make changes for the next year. So at the end here, it's like there's an article on a certain topic and then there is a question section so you can fill this out throughout the year and it's all about mindfulness soul searching gratitude so interactive i love 
filling out questions. I love questionnaires. And I love that they give you some food for thought before like diving into the questions. This is a really well laid out journal slash planner and I think it's actually well worth the money. It's only $12.99. Yes, it's not like the super thick material we're used to in planners, but I like that I can start it at any time of the year. So that's really cool. I think it would look really cool if you dressed it up with stickers and fun pens. And I think it's a fantastic little planner for $13. Very cute, very intentional, and very 2022. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and leave me a comment. What are some of your goals for 2022? I'd love to know what you guys are working on. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.